Out of the three main settings that you can change on your camera, being the ISO, shutter speed, and aperture, aperture can be one of the more confusing settings to get your head around. But in this video, I'm gonna break it down. We'll use some Lego to show you exactly what it does and help you use this information to take great pictures. So what the aperture setting does, it makes the hole in the lens larger or smaller. And this has two main effects on your image. You got brightness and depth of field. The first one is pretty much self-explanatory, make the hole bigger and you get more light coming into your camera sensor. Close it and you get less light coming into your sensor. You would of course balance this with the other settings to make sure that it's correctly exposed. Now, one thing you may have noticed about the f-stop numbers is that they appear to be backwards to what you'd expect. As the aperture closes, the numbers increase. Now, the reason for this is because it is actually a ratio that has to do with the focal length of the lens you're using. So for this lens, I'm using a 50 millimeter lens. And when I set f 2.0, the opening is going to be 25 millimeters. As you increase the f number, Opening is going to get smaller because the, the F number is actually on the bottom of a fraction. The other effect that the aperture setting has on your image is what's called depth of field. There's always going to be one distance away from your lens that's going to be in perfect focus. You can move this back and forward using either manual focus or autofocus, but both in front of the focal plane and behind it, it's going to be an area where it's not as in focus, but it's still in acceptable amount of focus. And this is what is called depth of field. And you can change this depth of field using the aperture setting. So to use an example, I have my lens set at f8. And if I focus on the Lego figure that's 50 centimeters away from the lens, I'm gonna have approximately two and a half centimeters that will be in focus. If I want his friends to also be in focus in this picture, I can increase the f-stop. And if I increase it to something like f18, the depth of field will increase to six centimeters, so about three centimeters in front of him and three centimeters behind him. One thing you may have noticed is that as I've increased the f-stop, the shutter speed has also changed. So if you're letting less light into your sensor, you're going to need to expose the image for longer or possibly increase the ISO. So at the larger numbers of the f-stops, much more is gonna be in focus than the small ones. But if I want to do it the other way around and I just want the middle guy to be in focus and I don't care what's happening in front of him or behind him, I can decrease the f-stop right down. So let's go down right down to f2. This is gonna shrink the depth of field to just about one centimeter. And what you'll notice is that pretty much everything but where our focus is becomes quite blurry. Now I'll just point out that where the acceptable focus distance is, uh, it doesn't mean it'll suddenly be out of focus after that. It's a, it's going to be a gradual thing. So the more distance, the more out of focus it's going to be. Anyway, that's the basic idea of what the aperture setting on your camera does. If you have any questions or there's anything you think that I could have explained better, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.